Hey YouTube, what's going on? Fishy15 here. So I've been getting lots of questions on how to make iPhone and iPod Touch and even iPad icons on your Windows or Mac computer without using uh, Photoshop. So I found a really nice program. This program is called GIMP. So you can find GIMP on, just search Google, search GIMP, G-I-M-P. And this is a GNU image manipulation program. And this is uh, by far the easiest program to actually make a simple iPhone icon. So once you get GIMP and you open it up, you can go to File, New, right there. And guys, uh, the program GIMP, I'll have the link for the website right down there in the description. So right here you can go and open the File, New, and you can go to the width for 57 for the iPhone and iPod Touch icon, and for the height, do 57 as well. And then go ahead and click OK. So now you can make this full screen, and I always just have the Layers tab open because I use that most. So now you can do Shift, and you can actually zoom in right here. So you can actually see the icon. And this is just basically the first step. Now you can go ahead and go over here to the background. You can right click and hit add alpha channel right down here. After you hit that, you can go to the eraser tool. And now you'll need to fill in this. So you can just get a big circle and just fill that in. So next thing you'll need to do, you'll need to get the rectangle tool up in the left hand corner of the toolbox. So after this, you can click on feathered edges and rounded corners. So for your radius right here, you'll need to make that around three. And for your radius of your rounded corners, just make that around 10. I'll just put 10.3, hit enter. And now this will give you the basic rounded corners for your um, icon. So right up here, you go to the upper left hand corner and you can actually drag from left to right and let that go. And as you can see, you will have uh, rounded edges. So now you can fill that in with a color by hitting the uh, bucket fill tool or the gradient or yeah the bend and gradient tools so right here you can actually pick what colors you want I'll just pick a green color for my basic color my second color I'll just pick a let's just do a red color so now I'm on the gradient so it'll actually make it fade from one color to the other so now you can just make a line going up and it'll actually give you a really nice looking icon right here and the first step that I forgot to mention was when you did the add alpha channel, that actually made it so now you would actually have the uh, transparent corners so you could actually see through those corners when you actually put the icon on your device. So right here, now that you have your icon, say if you don't like that, you can actually make a new one. Just change this color so now this will look actually pretty cool because it's both greens. So it looks like a decent icon. Now if you want, you can go ahead and put some text on here. Just go like this. Say I just write fishy. So that looks pretty cool. It doesn't look that good right now, but once you zoom out and put it on your device, it looks actually pretty sweet. So now, again, hold shift and plus to zoom in and just push the minus sign to zoom out. So this is basically how you make a simple iPhone icon with GIMP, guys. I would make one with Photoshop, but there's already so many videos on YouTube on how to make icons with Photoshop. So now you can just go to File, Save As right up there, and you can just put this on your desktop. Hit Save. I did not do that right. Go up here again, guys. Sorry. Hit Save As. Uh, if you can go right there to browse other things. So I'll just put this on the desktop right here. And you want to go down here, and you want to find a PNG. So PNG, uh, I have no idea what this is. Oh, right here. As you can see, it's the PNG image right there. And if you actually want to save it as an icon, you can go up here, type the actual icon that's on your device. So I'll just name this one FaceTime, and then make sure you have PNG at the end. Hit Save, and you'll need to flatten this. So then you can go to Export It, and hit Save. So that's just a basic um, iPhone icon for you guys. And oh, there's one more thing I can show you guys. So if you zoom out, you can go up here and actually use the Ellipse tool up in the left and then you can actually go over the top of your icon like on most of the iPhone and iPod touch icons you actually have the it looks like it's actually got a shadow around it um, you can't really tell because my I have a theme on mine but you would usually have a little dip right there under the icon and that's pretty much the ellipse tool does you can go over here um, add a new layer next hit OK and then you can actually fill that in with Let's just say our white color. So now you can hit the fill tool, fill that in. And up here with the opacity, you can actually drag that down. And there you go. And then you go to select and none. 
So there's just basic iPhone icon for you guys. And then now you can do that same thing. Go to File, Save As, save it as a .png file. Now it'll be on your desktop. You can X out of all this stuff. And if you wanted, you could also go into WinSCP and then you can actually transfer this to the iPod Touch or iPhone itself. And then apply it with Winterboard. So if this video helped you guys, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my other videos and I'll just catch you guys later. Peace.